should really clean. You wanna help me? Wait, 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 wait. Don't go, don't go. Okay, I will clean and I will teach you English if you stick around. All right, okay, let's do it. Welcome to Breathe English. I'm your host, Erica, and today we're gonna learn English for household chores and cleaning every room of the house. I have my cleaning bandana on. I'm ready to go. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So behind me, we have the living room, which is in shambles. I need to pick up my things or put my things away, organize my things. Fold the blankets, fold the blankets, clean off the coffee table, clean off the coffee table, fluff the pillows, fluff the pillows, and vacuum the floor. Vacuum the floor. Make yourself at home. Thank you so much for coming. Please, make yourself at home. This is an idiom that a host says to a guest, just to let them know that they should act like they act at home. They should feel comfortable. They shouldn't feel uptight. Make yourself at home. So whatever you wanna do, take your shoes off, have a seat, get something to drink, make yourself at home. In the kitchen, we have tons of chores. We need to wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. If you have food in the sink and your water's not going down, you need to turn on the garbage disposal. Load the dishwasher. Load the dishwasher. And you'll need to use dishwasher detergent. Unload the dishwasher. Unload the dishwasher. Clean the counters. Wipe down the counters. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. When you sweep, you need a broom and a dustpan. After you sweep the floor, you need to mop the floor. You'll need a mop and a bucket and some water and some cleaner. Okay, I'm taking out the garbage and the recycling and the compost. Compost is food scraps. Food scraps only. And some leaves and stuff. Remember to replace the garbage bag. Replace the garbage bag. Another idiom you might hear a host say to a guest is help yourself. If someone says to you help yourself, that means don't wait to be offered food or drink. Just go get a drink, get the food, get it yourself, help yourself. And this also is a way to make people feel more comfortable. Like they can just go take something to eat or drink if they feel like it. In the bathroom, there are many tasks to do. You need to scrub the tub, scrub the bathtub, clean the toilet, clean the toilet, fun times, clean the sink, clean the sink, wipe the mirror, wipe the mirror, clean the bathroom counter, clean the bathroom counter, bathroom idiom for you. If someone says, I need to go number one, they mean they need to go pee, liquid. If they say, I need to go number two, that means, that means poop, solid. I need to go number one, I need to go number two. Chores in the bedroom. You need to make the bed, make the bed, put things away, organize your things, Put things away, organize your things. Dust, dust your blinds, dust your furniture, wash your sheets. Sometimes you need to wash your sheets. An idiom for the bedroom, hit the hay or hit the sack. Those both mean to go to bed. 
All right, I have a lot to clean in this bedroom. In the laundry room, you do the laundry. You might have a hamper with dirty laundry. First, we put it in the washer. When it's done washing, we take it out and put it in the dryer. And in the dryer, we need to clean out the lint. Clean out the lint. And you may choose to dry some clothes on a drying rack. Right, if you have a yard, you need to do yard work. Do yard work. You might need gardening gloves to do the yard work. You need to rake the leaves, rake the leaves, pick up sticks, pick up sticks, sticks. Trim the bushes, trim the bushes. Mow the lawn, mow the lawn, or cut the grass, cut the grass. Water the flowers, or water the garden. Water the flowers, or water the garden. Another idiom, to have a green thumb. If you have a green thumb, you are very good at growing plants, flowers, vegetables. You're just, you're good at growing them and keeping them alive. A green thumb. Whew. And then when you're all done, you can take a load off. Relax a little bit. Thank you so much for joining me today, doing some housework and some yard work. Again, if you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe and the like button, and I'm so glad you found us. Until next time, keep breathing English. Bye-bye.